Hello again, everyone. We are gaming by... Oh my god, I sound terrible. But we are gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to RimWorld. So, uh, funny story. You know, I decide, oh, hey, you know, we're going to, you know, come back, start making videos on the channel again. Friday, you know, I record some... Friday comes, I record some videos, all's well. Saturday comes, I finish editing and uploading the videos I had recorded, all's well. Sunday, full-blown COVID. Though, mercifully, my symptoms are pretty mild. So, you know, nothing to worry about there, I, I think. For now. Uh, yeah. And, uh, just very annoying, really, I guess, is what it comes down to. And also, I probably should have started recording some extra videos yesterday. My, I feel like my voice was much more robust then. Or then again, maybe I, I just, you know, with my headphones on, I can't hear myself very well, so I sound worse than I actually do. But I do want to apologize in advance if I end up uh, hacking and coughing a lot on uh, for the next few videos. Oh, we're starving. Right, right. We need food and and, and stuff. Oh my. Right. Yeah, I did put us in a bit of a rough position. I should get this guy out of here rather than have him linger around. We are going to be cooking though, right? Hopefully. You know what, we'll finish the batteries and then we'll uh, send this guy on his way. No acceptable- well... You know, screw you too, I guess. Oh, also I- I decided to add just a little quality of life mod so we can see the music. Because that, that's kind of nice. Oh, and, and the, uh, in the cleaning zone. I know, I know, I, we've, I've talked about the danger of, you know, thinking, oh, I'll just add this quality of life mod, I'll just add that quality, and then before you know it, we end up in a fully modded playthrough. But, uh, yeah. I just like being able to tell people where to, where to clean specifically. So, there we are. And I guess uh, maybe we'll just refresh ourselves in our quest list. Right, we got the deserter thing going here. Leon will join. Oh right, Leon died. That's right, poor guy. And we're out of wood. Also, we should build some batteries for this very reason. Yeah, who, who's our best miner again? Let's check it out. That would be Katya. So when she wakes up, we'll do a little bit of mining, get all this stuff out of here. Yeah, so much that still needs to be done, huh? But, that's life. Oh, I guess we'll worry about that later. Oh god. It's just gonna be food poisoning all the way down, isn't it? Most unfortunate. Also, Iris, could you, uh, we have no wood, really? My god. I thought we had all kinds of wood not that long ago, but apparently I was wrong. Okay, you're vomiting. When you're done vomiting, let's get the power going again. And I, I should? Right, we were talking about building a freezery thing. And actually, you know what? I should deconstruct this. Or, actually, how are we doing on stone? We've got a lot of sandstone, so let's let's make use of that, shall we? Alright, so the idea is we don't want too big of a freezer. One, two, three, four. Or actually, maybe I should make it a little wider. That way we can have like a little aisle in between the... Alright. Keep changing my plans, but that's probably a good thing. Plans should be changeable. Okay, actually, let's bring it over still one more. Because, again, I, I like to, for realism, just have, like, a little space in between shelves. And this should be... Uh, of the right size, hopefully. 
All right, so <coughs> one, two, three, four, five. All right. Yeah, a little something like that. And we'll eventually build a little more here, and this is probably where the, uh... Yeah. All right. I like that. That's good. And we'll just reinstall our food shelves over here. Though I saw a nifty, uh... Oh, shoot. I saw a nifty design on the uh, RimWorld subreddit where it was basically just like a you had just like a, a one wide thing of these shelves and like a little space like this and then you had doors and then you just kind of went through and there's sort of like a little freezer. I thought that was pretty neat. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, jolly good. Still, a lot of work to do. Not entirely sure how much time we have. You know, in a, a relativistic sense. Uh, let's see, for floors... Oh, excuse me. Uh, more sandstone. Yeah, that should that should be nice. Got some rooms here. Though I should get Kacha to prioritize building this, because we do Excuse me. You know what? Maybe it'll help if I have a little sip on my drink. Ah. Honey lemon. Perfect for when you're feeling sick. Alright, there we go. Right, maybe I'll cancel it. We don't want too much wood going on here. We just want to get everything nice and nice and organized and set up. Uh, I'm trying to hold in a cough. Anyway, just enough. I don't want to do something along the riverbank here. Now just, uh, we've talked about it before, but we want to do so. Oh my god. It's, it's, it's just awful. All right, you know what? Yeah, you should rest, I suppose. And let's, uh, of course, I also recognize building a battery, uh, in a wooden building, probably not the smartest idea. That's just asking for trouble, but, you know, we'll, uh. We'll make do for now. And actually, you know what? Maybe I'll just kind of fast forward a bit until something exciting happens. Because we're just doing basic building and maintenance and such. So, yeah, we'll just do a overview of the old colony for a bit. Just sit back, relax, and save my, uh, save my vocal cords a little bit. Okay, and we return. So, I've got some stuff built up and we have something exciting, a quest. Let's see. Uh, Paulo of the League of Delbium. <laughs> it stopped coughing as soon as I start talking again. 
Anyway, a uh, special request, someone has dumped an abundance of toxic waste packs near one of his settlements and he is unable to safely store them. Uh, if you accept, Paulo will deliver 90 toxic waste packs by transport pod. If not kept frozen, toxic waste packs will dissolve over time, polluting nearby terrain. Okay. Uh. <laughs> well, I feel like <clears throat> the cheesy way to solve this would be to accept and then form a caravan and then dump the toxic waste packs once we get into the world. Cheesy, but if it works, then it works. Also, I, I can't help but wonder. I, I can't imagine why, but adding the cleaning zone mod may... I mean, surely it wouldn't be the music mod. These guys don't want to eat manually on their own anymore. Not sure what's going on there. So that's, uh, that's something that's happened. Well, you know, you get what you deserve, Gaslight. You said you were going to do a vanilla playthrough, and then you've been slowly adding quality of life mods. Ah. Anyway. Ah. Oh well. It's all good. Oh, right. I should probably actually, you know, set this down to... Uh, maybe... <coughs> Negative one might actually not be enough. I think this is small enough that I... Sh <laughs> Sorry if I sound really disgusting there. I'm like trying to hold back a cough, but I feel like I instead sound like I'm gagging. Like I'm trying to cough up a hairball. So, again, apologies for that. And apologies for any images that describing that may have just put in your head. Ugh. That is a disaster waiting to happen. Alright, anyway. Oh good, we are uh, putting down some carpet. You know, I like how many different carpet uh, colors have been added in biotech, or at least in 1.4. I don't think it's biotech specifically that added the different colors. Also, my apologies if you can hear me constantly sniffling a little. That's also, no doubt, really annoying. If I can, I'll try and filter that out and post, but if not, just, you know, accept my apologies now. Also, also, um, with this, like, not, uh, seemingly not, uh, you know, using both, it's because, let's turn the power off on this thing, if we go in here, we can see def rest capacity. How many def rest buildings a person can connect to? Well, def resting, each def rest building confers a specific benefit. So it's better to be able to connect to more of them. That's an interesting game design choice. Like, in the end, there's four of these. And there's like some kind of serum we can take to uh, increase our capacity. So overall, we'll need three of them. How's our bedroom coming together now that we've... Somewhat rich, rather tight, ugly, dirty. Yeah, I really... No, no. Realistic rooms definitely goes beyond what could be described as quality of life. It just makes the game easier. So, I'll just have to accept that, uh, you know, unless I want to make six or seven by seven rooms. Though, I'll be honest with you. A five by five room, like if we assume each unit is a meter, that's 25 meters squared, and that's a... That's a fair amount. And if we cube it, say that the roof or the ceiling is about three meters high, probably a little less in reality, but you know, somewhere around there. So you have 25 by three, so you know, 75 meters cubed of space. That's a fair amount of space. I wonder what's going on here. Maybe all our food because I added the like cleaning zone mod, it like messed with the definitions of the existing food on the map, so I don't know. 
We'll see what's going. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Maybe. Are there any food restrictions in here? No, doesn't look like it. No raw meat, no vegetarian. All meals. Huh. Well, I don't know what to say. But that's why you don't uh, fiddle with mods uh, <laughs> mid-game. Never know when things are going to get all funny-like. Alright, there we go. Yeah, let's finish this vent and close it off. Alright, there we go. Now it's warming up in here. That's what I like to see. Ah, bloody hell. Eight vet. Oh, right. Oop. Alright, let's turn that off. And we won't store Ibex uh, here either. And I guess we'll make sure when we're cooking that we don't include Ibex either. Spend that for now as it doesn't really benefit us in any way. Oh my god, what's going on over here? Some bears were like fighting. <coughs> or something. My god. Also, I think the next couple of episodes are probably going to be shorter because with me coughing and everything, I feel like there's only so much that one can stand. Oh wow, that didn't last very long. Good, good. No, you are ravenously hungry. Go ahead and eat a simple meal, which will probably have the venerated animal meat causing you to break down again, but... You know, you make do with what you got sometimes. Alright, so... <clears throat> everything is... kind of working out nicely, I think. Maybe I'll get rid of this freeholder title. There are enemies, and you know what? I kind of want to go for like a full enemy of the empire, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, playthrough this time. Just because we can. Alright, little song like this, little song like that. Maybe we'll put a door in here as well. I guess I better put down some flooring. Okay. Actually, Iris isn't much of a, a miner, so I don't really want her mining. Let's focus on Yule crafting. Get our stone blocks so that we can build ourselves a nice home. There we are. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, how are we doing over here? Now we're starting at marble blocks. Which of course are more beautiful than... So uh, I guess replace these wooden walls with marble walls eventually. All these limestone chunks. I guess another thing I should do is maybe like clear some open space. We'll end build some walls. We need more uh, choke points. I mean, if I, if I, <clears throat> if I design this whole place like a realistic city, then we'll actually have natural choke points to begin with. And if we look at our security, I'm actually tempted to turn dev mode on just so we can preview uh, some, you know what, I'm going to do that. I'm going to turn dev mode on so we can just preview. Oh. Oh, right. Got to turn god mode on. All right, got some new stuff here. Uh, but what was I looking for? Now maybe we can't, 
maybe it's something you can't build or you have to do something else for. There's, I feel like I remember seeing like some kind of like toxic spewer. I know there's toxic grenades, but if we could have a way to, um, I mean, this gets into human war crimes territory, but if we could get into a situation where we could, you know, have like a death corridor, as we'll call it, where the enemies filter in, then we close the door at the end, and have the enemies wander in, at which point they, uh, you know, we fill it with toxic gas, because, you know, the toxic gas lasts for a while, and then we, you know, just let them pass out, and then we vent the, the area, and then retrieve the, well, hopefully not dead, but just dismember, or, <coughs> Uh, un... Uh, excuse me. No, uh, none of that. Anyway, I don't know. There's stuff we'll... Where's our build copy option? My brain... Am I missing it? Is it just not there? Ah, nope, that's not it. Oh, there it is. Again, as you can probably gather, my brain is... It's not operating at 100% capacity. Of course, then again, is it ever? I have a little self-deprecation there. Not too much, but just a little bit. Ah, oh, nice. You know, at some point, maybe I should make Iris a vampire as well. That'd be kind of neat. Right, another thing we probably also want is to have one... Oh, no. Is to have one or two prisoners that we can uh, keep around just for free blood. That way we can save the hemogen packs for building stuff as needed, and for emergencies. Didn't I say something about wanting to play as like a moral and good-natured colony? Every bloody time. I don't know, the rim makes it too easy to be a monster. Though, having said that, uh, if and when we start getting children in this colony, I will fight to the death to defend them. Because, you know, children are the future and all that jazz. Ah. Yes. Yes, indeed. Alright, I guess I can turn sewing back on. They'll never grow in time. <coughs> Excuse me. But, you know, we'll, we'll see how things end up. And again, really got to replace this with non-flammable materials at some point. Excuse me. Oh, bloody hell. We You used all the sandstone on this? Ah, bloody hell. Oh well. Such is life. Anyway... All right, I, I think it's time to wrap this episode up. So until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking and I will see all you in the next video.